Hey, kindergarten, first grade, second grade. All right, um, this week we are gonna finish up that hand dribble unit. And as you think about the skills that we've learned so far, we've learned our dominant hand dribble, we've learned our non-dominant non hand dribble, we've learned that uh, crossover where we did one hand crossover to the other hand, and then we dribbled a couple times and crossed over. And then we also learned one called the continuous crossover where we went side, 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 side. side. That's good, but we gotta push with our legs, remember when we go side to side, side to side. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Last time, I had you using all those skills while you walked and tried to move while you were dribbling, all right? The last thing we wanna do is try and run while we dribble. So we're gonna be trying to move as quick as we can while we stay under control with the ball. We're manipulating that ball with our hands while trying to control it. So first of all, we're gonna do this just in a straight line and then we're gonna add a little bit of a complexity to it. So Fisher and I are gonna go down here to this uh, practice driveway. And we're just gonna go from our dominant hand to the first line. try that. I want you to try and find a long area. Hold that ball, please. Try a long area where you can dribble and try and speed it up and control that ball best you can. Remember, if we're moving with the ball, we don't push straight down. We push out in front of us just a little bit so that that ball bounces back up and it hits me right where I'm moving to. Try and move as quick as you can. All right, we're going to go from one spot to the next and we are going to cross over to switch to the other hand. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add in a couple of little cones or targets or whatever and now I'm gonna use these shoes these little golf shoes and we're gonna go inside and outside so instead of just going in a straight line now we're gonna try and zigzag or do a curvy pathway it like this. that's right so when we're on this side of the shoe I want to use my non-dominant hand and when I'm on that side of the side of the shoe I want to use my dominant That's the last part of our hand dribble unit uh, where we are now just going as fast as we can while we dribble and uh, moving and crossing over and doing all those things. So practice that for a little bit and then at the end of this module you'll see that there are some questions that you need to answer about how fast you were able to do it and if you were able to do it uh, on your own. So great job with this. Next week we've got something brand new. Take care and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye. Toodaloo. Too